I feel what about like a gaming some... resolution. Yeah, I'm gonna try and complete some Red Dead Redemption Two. Really Completed wanna, it. really One wanna play that. Has anyone been playing anything else? Like any random little games? I got back into Cuphead. Oh What's yeah. What's Cuphead? Have you ever not heard of Cuphead? So I've not it, played it, but I definitely heard of it. It's a hand-drawn game, and it looks like it's like very old, stylized, quite old, old school, like, like 40s Disney cartoon kind of, kind of vibes. That kind of kind of style. You're this little fella called Cuphead. You're a cup. Yeah. Yeah. You got a cup head, and then a human body, um, and or you can be his brother, friend, Mugman. Is this true? Yeah, Mugman. Yeah, <laughs> Cuphead and Mugman. Oh, Can I, I try and guess I didn't what know about, about Mugman. Yeah, go on. Cuphead, Cuphead and Mugman. Yeah. Going around. You are never going to guess, so oh, I'm so intrigued. Going around, right? Yeah. They've got to gather liquid in their heads and tip it into other things. Do you think I'd be playing that for hours on end? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, new game pitch. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's about... So Cuphead and Mugman, they accidentally lose their soul to the devil. What is with you? <laughs> Why has everything got to be so... It's not horror. It's okay. not completely horror. There's a All series right. on Netflix as well, which okay. is quite good. They accidentally bargain their soul and lose it to the devil. It's all very cartoony and yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. It's not scary at all. And um, then they obviously don't want to go to hell. So they, they bargain with the devil and basically say, we'll help you collect all the souls that you're owed from all these other baddies. Right. So you essentially go and beat all these bosses with um, like some form of gun that you shoot from your finger, but it's like special powery things and you get different versions of them, but it's impossible. Right. Like it's like, right. it's the kind of game like, did you ever play Getting Over It with Ben Foddy when you're in the- No, um, I never played that either. Jump, do you play Jump King? Yes. You play Jump King? Only yeah. Up, yeah. like those kind yeah, of games. Yeah. Like those games that are so difficult, but you know you can do it so it's that level. Yeah. That right. Every single boss is like that. And every boss comes in three parts. So you've got like the root pack gang, mm -hmm. the bad, it's like you have to beat up an onion, then you have to beat up a carrot and something else. And you finally beat boss one, but you have to beat all three in a row. And it's like every time you have to learn their algorithm, which is slightly randomized every time, but you can get used to, okay, I jump over this, jump over that, shoot, 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 jump over this. You finally I beat one, you get to the next one. Like but then you that. don't know what's coming because it's new again. So you can never beat it first time. Like if anyone does, you're, you're like little Tetris kid. Like, yeah. so as soon as you beat a boss, you then have to do it again. And without beating all three, you then just got to start again. So you beat boss one, you're like, yes, at last. Then you don't know what's coming, so you die. You start again, beat boss one, get better at boss two, die. And you mm. just get better and better and better progressively. I spent an hour the other day trying to beat a boss. And when you die, it shows you how far along the level you are. And it'll show like little points where the boss has changed. And my little cup head was right before the final line after an hour. And then my controller on the switch died. So you're going to go home today? No. Because it was like I was playing on the TV and the battery died. It was no. like battery depleted. Oh no. And I was like, I was so close. How and much I'll, was it on Switch? I might get this. It's quite cheap. It's like a fifteen yeah, pound game, quite and it's, it's kind of big. Game. It's a big game as well. It take a while to complete. And there's so it's it's mainly the bosses, and then there's also something called Run and Gun, which is a bit more like Mario. Yeah, but you can shoot as you go around. But that, it's a really difficult game, and it's two player as well. If you yeah, want you can play with two people, but it's also to the level. It's that difficulty where you know you can beat it, and that's mm. the annoying thing. That's you die, what keeps you addicted to it's it. It's like yeah. when you're on a claw machine at the arcade or something. Yeah, you're going. No, I can get it. I know I can get it. Yeah, yeah. And you'll just keep going. But that's costing you money. Whereas playing Cuphead, like once you've bought yeah. it, it's only costing you time. And, Honestly, and it's, like, it's a great game. It. It's a really good the game. The only time I've ever really felt that on a game, especially recently, was like Demon's Souls on the PS5. Where yeah. it's that difficult, yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. you can but do it. It's yeah. just, I love like that thing of where like bosses have specific mechanics and then you like learn the mechanics as you're doing the boss and you go back and you try again. Like, okay, I know this is going to happen at this point. Yeah. I spent like that, 16 that hours Head. trying to kill a boss with two of my friends on this go game. Go outside. <laughs> honestly, no, honestly, so get, get, get on Cuphead because it's exactly like that. Yeah. You, you can spend ages on one boss. Sometimes you'll think, oh, it's a bit easier to memorize or whatever, mm -hmm. but they always randomize it slightly. Like the bosses will always do the same things, but they might not do them in the same same order so yeah. you've got us you'll see them start to do something you go oh he's about to do that one instead so yeah give it a go okay good I game. Will. get it on the switch as well just because then you can play it couch gaming yeah i've been playing this game i played this game called exit eight and it's just like this i don't know what you would call it an observing game you walk so it's the same situation you're in a train station 
and you turn the corridor and you walk down this corridor, but there's a certain amount of things you have to look at. And then I have seen you, this. And if you don't, if you notice something that's wrong, you have to turn back and go the other way, and then you get to the next station. But if you don't notice anything, you carry on going and you maybe get to the next station. But you keep walking through the same corridor every single time. And it's basically a puzzle game. If you notice it, you turn around. If you don't, you keep going. But it's, like, really frustrating because you can get right to, like, level seven. Yeah. And then if you've missed something, like, small, you obviously go back to the start. So it could be, like, a poster on the wall has changed. Yeah. Slightly. You can finish it in 15 minutes. It took me, like, an hour and a half to two hours. I might um, have to give it a go. It's literally, I like, want to try like three quid on Steam. It's pretty fun. Okay. Well, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Speaking of giving things a go, oh. as we start to wrap up. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. 2024. Yes. Do you do New Year's resolutions or not? I, I don't do like a resolute. I never do like a resolution anymore. I've got like a gaming so. resolution. Yeah, I'm going to try and complete some Red Dead Redemption 2. Really want to really One wanna of my wanna favorite play games that. ever. That's what everyone says. That's why I want to do it. And I'm bad at playing those very classic, long, um, single player story games. Mm-hmm. So I'm I've told like myself this year that I'm going to try and complete some classics. Because once I get into them, I really enjoy them. Have you played Assassin's Creed? I haven't, no. <gasps> I've played some of them. OG Assassin's Creed. But Ezio I'm, not good yeah. at, I'm not good at stealth. So any games that you have to like stealth in, I get really scared. But I did play The Last of Us. Um, and once I played that, I was happy I played it. Played The Trope Come Human, one of my favorite games. Mm-hmm. Um, so now, this year, I'm going to conquer Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm going to conquer The Witcher, I think. Nice. Play the Witcher. Witcher is a big game as well. Um, then I don't know. Any others? Any other big. Go, go Assassin's classic? Creed. Assassin's yeah. Creed. The OG yeah? Assassin's Creed, though. Okay. But they've made so many. I yeah, can't that's what. That go right back to the start. Okay. OG Assassin's Creed is awesome. What have I been playing that I love? Obviously, have you played the Spider Man games, huh? Played a couple of well, I've played like one, I think, and not I, not like finished it. But I'm not good at like like big like beat 'em up type games. Got and you. I feel like Spider Man has a lot it's quite of like, repetitive. Beat em up it as is well. quite yeah. repetitive. It is very beat 'em up. Mm. But I'm a, I I actually love the whole single player experience. But I, I I get distracted too easy if like if another game comes into into my yeah that's yeah. the thing you need I to put hours into it. Yeah. So, oh, I can't. Yeah, my my brain doesn't allow me. I need quick bursts. I've got a plan for me. Go on February. Yeah. I'm not going to play it. Because look, the, the Tears of the Kingdom, I know I was going about it all the time, is my, one of my favorite games of all time. The other one is Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. But I um, stopped playing it because other things started happening, life and whatever else. And I'm now playing, like, I'm playing Sackboy at the minute with my girlfriend, which is so much fun. I, it, one of the most underrated platformers mm-hmm. of all time. Have you ever played it? I love yeah, Sackboy. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I, but it's, it was Little Big Planet, right? Yeah. Like, I played it when it was Little Big Planet. But this is the like, PlayStation. Especially if you've got two players, it's a lot of fun. I am going to dedicate February, the entire month, to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm, I'm going to complete it. No other games? No other games. Just so that. That's your New Year's How resolution. How long does it yeah. take to complete that? I think I've already put 100 hours in and I'm nowhere near. That's crazy that, that it take that long. I want like it, I want me, it to be like takes like 300. seven, eight hours, maybe up to 10 hours. Like That's a good like single player experience. That's decent though, if you can put that much into it. But Ar- Ariane plays Skyrim all the time. Does she? Loves Skyrim. Great, she's yeah. on it all the time, but playing it on the Switch. And I think we looked the other day and she's played about 68 hours and I don't think she's close to finishing it because yeah. she does all the side missions. Me too. Missions. That's, yeah. what, that's what puts the hours down is when yeah. you start going, I want to do this and if this If you and just this go this. for the actual game, you could complete it quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go linear or whatever. Yeah, but you just want to do every little thing. I, I want was a bit like that on Spider-Man. I think that threw me off because it's just... It, like all the mini missions are so repetitive. I'm yeah. Just like, oh. I need to complete Spider Man 2 as well. But anyway. I don't think I ever will. Do you not? No. I enjoyed it, but like I just, again, it just, it's the same thing over and over again. And I, it's weird to say when I play Rocket League and Fortnite, but every game's different because you're against yeah, real it's people. Yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's and your New Year's resolution then? I don't really have any um, because I think I was getting on the right track before New Year's. Mm. So I've properly started personal training. So I'm going to do that. Um, I might try different types of fitness. I want to try box fit. Mm-hmm. So I might get into boxing. Maybe nice. not punch anyone in the face anytime soon because that's not, I don't know if I could do that. You want to do one of those misfits fights? Nah, don't I don't think I could. <gasps> Imagine. I think you'd be, I'd Who would I fight? Pie face? Yeah, you versus oh, Pirates. Oh, back. Oh, that would be, I reckon you would do that too. Yeah, he's I think so tall would. though. He's got great reach, I imagine. Yeah, his reach would be great. Yeah. I reckon I could take him though. 2024 oh is coming. It's, it's happening. I'll be ready, Steve. It's happening. Exactly.